Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. The commander's plan has come full circle and right between the eyes. James Harden's trade proves player empowerment is still very much alive in the NBA. Benko's Cigna Development Taps Advisors Amid Cash Crunch. Report, NBAN's investigation into 76ers over James Harden's absence this season before Clippers trade. Why trade James Harden now? With Maxi and Embiid thriving, 76ers didn't want to bring him back. The commander's plan has come full circle and right between the eyes. Washington Post. The Washington commander's decision to trade Chase Young to the San Francisco 49ers for a third-round pick highlights the franchise's failure to build a successful team. The commanders aim to create a strong defense, similar to the 49ers Super Bowl team, by drafting Young and Montez Sweat. However, poor player development and miscalculations have resulted in a lackluster team that has gone 25-32-1 and made only one playoff appearance in the past three and a half seasons. With the loss of Young and Sweat, the team's pass rush will suffer, further exposing their coverage issues. The commander's defense has allowed the second-most points in the NFL this season and the fourth-most yards. Despite investing heavily in their defense through the draft and free agency, the commanders have failed to create a cohesive unit. The team's defense lacks talent, with only three players considered unquestioned keepers. The commander's trades signify a focus on the future rather than the present, as the team looks to rebuild under new ownership. James Harden's trade proves player empowerment is still very much alive in the NBA. Yahoo! James Harden's move to the Brooklyn Nets from the Houston Rockets has left a bitter taste in the mouth of many who think player empowerment has gone too far. But the fact is that trades of this sort are still the exception rather than the rule. The likes of Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Chris Paul and Drew Holiday have all been moved against their will and to undesired destinations recently and such moves are still relatively rare. However, Harden has become a master of applying pressure and discomfort when it suits him, forcing his trade to Brooklyn. In this case, the Philadelphia 76ers were happy to oblige him, having grown tired of the situation. The modern collective bargaining agreement incentivizes players to stay with their own team as opposed to hitting free agency and, as long as a max salary is in place, that is what they will go for, demanding trades to get their bird rights clock started as soon as possible. Benko's Cigna Development taps advisors amid cash crunch. Bloomberg. Cigna Development Selection AG, a unit of Austrian billionaire René Benko's real estate empire, is facing a cash crunch and is in the process of appointing financial and legal advisors. The company cited a worsened market environment following an increase in interest rates as the reason for its challenges. Cigna Development reported a loss of €190 million, Euros, $203 million, from property revaluations in the first half of the year, compared to gains of €21 million Euros in the same period last year. Construction has also been halted at the flagship project of Cigna Prime, and the online sports retailer Cigna Sports United has filed for insolvency. Report, NBAN's investigation into 76ers over James Harden's absence this season before Clippers trade. Yahoo! The NBA's investigation into the Philadelphia 76ers for potentially violating the new player participation policy by holding James Harden out of a nationally televised game has concluded. The investigation ended just hours after he was traded to the Los Angeles Clippers. No penalty is expected to be handed down. The investigation was open to determine whether an approved reason exists for Harden's lack of participation in the 76ers road trip. Why trade James Harden now? With Maxi and Embiid thriving, 76ers didn't want to bring him back. Yahoo! The Philadelphia 76ers were under pressure to find a deal for James Harden after the player and the team decided it could not work together, according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. The 76ers were keen to get a deal done to use the picks and contracts they received in a trade to acquire another all-star player when the trade season begins in December. The Los Angeles Clippers, who were also interested in Harden, wanted to acquire the player sooner so he could help Kawhi Leonard and Paul George during the regular season. World Series 2023, Adulis Garcia, Max Scherzer removed from Rangers roster due to injury. Yahoo! Texas Rangers stars Adulis Garcia and Max Scherzer are out of the World Series due to injuries. Neither player is eligible to play in the series again. Garcia suffered a strained oblique while Scherzer has a back injury. The Rangers replaced them with infielder-slash-outfielder Ezekiel Duran and relief pitcher Brock Burke. First FT, Toyota to pour a further $8 billion in North Carolina battery plant. Financial Times. Toyota will invest an additional $8 billion in its North Carolina battery manufacturing plant, bringing its total investment to around $13.9 billion by 2030. 
The plant will add about 3,000 jobs to the site and will be the epicenter of lithium-ion battery production in North America, according to Toyota. The investment is the largest by a foreign carmaker in the U.S. since the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, which included subsidies to build a U.S. supply chain for green industries like electric vehicle and battery manufacturing. Initial College Football Playoff Rankings Released for 2023 Yahoo! The initial college football playoff rankings have been unveiled, with Ohio State, Georgia, Michigan and Florida State making up the top four. Chase Young Trade Grades, How Experts View 49 Airs Commander Swap Yahoo! The San Francisco 49ers have acquired pass rusher Chase Young from the Washington Commanders for a 2024 third-round draft pick. The move reunites Young with former college teammate Nick Boza and bolsters the 49ers' underperforming defensive line. Analysts have given the 49ers an A rating, with ESPN highlighting the addition of Young to one of the best defenses in the NFL. The Commanders have received a C-plus grade, with CBS Sports suggesting they could have used Young as a building block for the team. Back Serpiente's Jersey, How the Arizona Team Pays Tribute to Its Latino Fanbase. Yahoo! The Arizona Diamondbacks have unveiled a new jersey, called Serpientes, as part of the Team City Connect design. The Spanish-language jersey is unique to the Diamondbacks, who have a large Latino fan base in Arizona. The team has also hosted Latino-centric nights and events to celebrate the Latino community, including Mexican Heritage Night, Hispanic Heritage Weekend, and Cinco de Mayo. The Serpientes jersey is available for purchase at the D-backs team shop and online. Embiid fined for DX Chop Celebration vs Blazers. Yahoo! Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers has been fined $35,000 by the NBA for his obscene gesture celebration during a game against the Portland Trail Blazers. Embiid performed four crotch chops after scoring a layup, which was reminiscent of a wrestling move. This is not the first time Embiid has been fined for the celebration, he was fined $25,000 last season for using the same move. Embiid has previously stated that his celebration was inspired by professional wrestlers Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Devontae Adams and Max Crosby watching best years slip away as Raiders again struggle. The Toronto Star. Devontae Adams and Max Crosby, two of the best players at their positions in the NFL, are stuck with the Raiders in Las Vegas, who are likely to miss the playoffs for the 19th time in 21 years. Adams, who has been with the Raiders for eight seasons, has voiced his displeasure and frustration with the subpar quarterback play from Jimmy Garoppolo and backups Brian Hoyer and Aidan O'Connell. Meanwhile, Crosby has spent his entire five-year career with the Raiders and has made it clear that he's tired of losing and wants to play in meaningful games. Report. Tyson Fury vs. Alexander Yusik pushed back months two months. Yahoo! The heavyweight title fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik has been postponed until February, according to ESPN. The fight was originally scheduled for December, but Fury's tough bout against Francis Ngannou last weekend resulted in cuts and a knockdown. The bout is expected to take place in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Fury is the current WBC heavyweight champion, while Yusik holds the WBA, IBF, WBO, and IBO titles. The Fury vs. Yusik fight is highly anticipated and has been in the making for the past few years. Spain thrash Swiss as England stumble in Belgium. Yahoo! Spain defeated Switzerland 7-1 in the Women's Nations League, with Alexia Putellas scoring two goals and providing an assist. The match marked Spain's first since former Spanish football chief Luis Rubiales was banned for three years for a forced kiss on Jenny Hermoso. Despite the controversy, Spain dominated the game, adding five goals in the second half. England, on the other hand, suffered a 3-2 defeat to Belgium, putting their nation's league hopes in jeopardy. The loss marked the first time England has conceded three goals under coach Serena Wiegmann. World Series Game 4, Diamondbacks vs Rangers score, highlights, news and live tracker. Yahoo! The Texas Rangers won Game 3 of the World Series, but lost starting pitcher Max Scherzer to injury. As a result, the Rangers will use their bullpen for Game 4, with Andrew Heaney starting for Texas and Joe Mantiply starting for the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Rangers have also removed slugger Adulis Garcia and starting pitcher Max Scherzer from their roster due to injuries sustained in Game 3. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite sixtologist, Dr. Six. Coming to you once again from the wonderful world of Six Degrees. Today, we've got a lineup of news stories that are sure to catch your attention. From sports trades and injuries to real estate woes and international football matches, we've got it all. So, let's dive right in. First up, we have the Washington Commander's decision to trade Chase Young to the San Francisco 49ers. 
This move highlights the commander's failure to build a successful team, despite aiming to create a strong defense. With the loss of Young and Montez Sweat, the team's pass rush will suffer, exposing their coverage issues even further. It seems the commander's defense has some serious holes to patch up. Next, we have James Harden's trade from the Houston Rockets to the Brooklyn Nets, proving that player empowerment is still very much alive in the NBA. Harden has become a master at applying pressure and forcing trades when it suits him. While trades of this magnitude are still rare, it's clear that players have a significant say in their own destiny. It'll be interesting to see how this trend continues to develop in the future. Moving on, we have Austrian billionaire René Benko's real estate empire, Signa Development, facing a cash crunch. The company is appointing financial and legal advisors due to a worsened market environment and increased interest rates. Construction has been halted at their flagship project, and their online sports retailer has filed for insolvency. It seems like Benko's empire is facing some stormy weather. In the world of basketball, the NBA has ended its investigation into the Philadelphia 76ers for potentially violating the player participation policy with James Harden's absence. Interestingly, the investigation concluded just hours after Harden was traded to the Los Angeles Clippers. It seems like the 76ers and Harden wanted to part ways, and this trade provided the perfect opportunity for both parties. Speaking of the 76ers, they were under pressure to find a deal for James Harden due to a lack of compatibility between the player and the team. The 76ers were keen to use the picks and contracts received in the trade to acquire another all-star player. The Los Angeles Clippers were also interested in Harden and wanted to acquire him sooner to bolster their regular season performance. It's a game of chess in the NBA trading world. In the world of baseball, we have the unfortunate news that Texas Rangers stars Adulis Garcia and Max Scherzer are out of the World Series due to injuries. Garcia suffered a strained oblique and Scherzer has a back injury. The Rangers have replaced them with Ezekiel Duran and Brock Burke. It's a blow for the Rangers, but hopefully, the replacements can step up to the plate. Moving on to the automotive industry, Toyota is set to invest an additional $8 billion in its North Carolina battery manufacturing plant. This investment will bring the total investment to around $13.9 billion by 2030 and create about 3,000 jobs. Toyota aims to make the plant the epicenter of lithium-ion battery production in North America. It's a massive investment and a positive step towards a greener future. In the world of college football, the initial college football playoff rankings have been released, with Ohio State, Georgia, Michigan, and Florida State making up the top four. It's still early days, but these rankings give us a glimpse of the teams to watch out for in the upcoming playoffs. Switching gears back to the NFL, we have the San Francisco 49ers acquiring pass rusher Chase Young from the Washington Commanders. This move reunites Young with his former college teammate Nick Boza and strengthens the 49ers' underperforming defensive line. Analysts have given the 49ers an A rating for this trade, highlighting the addition of Young to their already formidable defense. On the other hand, the commanders have received a C-plus grade, with some suggesting they could have used Young as a building block for their team. In the world of baseball, the Arizona Diamondbacks have unveiled a new jersey called Serpientes as part of their City Connect design. This jersey pays tribute to the team's large Latino fan base in Arizona. The Diamondbacks have been hosting Latino-centric nights and events to celebrate the Latino community, and this jersey is another way of showing their appreciation. It's a fantastic initiative and a great way to connect with fans. Moving back to the NBA, Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers has been fined $35,000 for his obscene gesture celebration during a game against the Portland Trail Blazers. Embiid performed four crotch chops after scoring a layup, drawing inspiration from professional wrestlers Triple H and Shawn Michaels. This isn't the first time Embiid has been fined for his celebration, and it seems he just can't resist channeling his inner wrestler. In the NFL, we have Devontae Adams and Max Crosby, two exceptionally talented players, stuck with the struggling Las Vegas Raiders. Both players have voiced their frustration with the team's underwhelming performance and are eager to play in meaningful games. It's a tough situation for these star players, but hopefully, things turn around for them soon. In the world of boxing, the heavyweight title fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik has been postponed until February. Fury's recent bout with Francis Ngannou resulted in cuts and a knockdown, leading to the decision to delay the fight. This showdown has been highly anticipated for years, and boxing fans will have to wait a little longer to see this epic clash. And finally, we have some women's football action. Spain defeated Switzerland 7-1 in the Women's Nations League, with Alexia Putellas stealing the show with two goals and an assist. Spain dominated the game, putting five goals past Switzerland in the second half. 
On the other hand, England suffered a 3-2 defeat to Belgium, putting their nation's league hopes in jeopardy. It's a roller coaster of emotions in the world of international football. And there you have it, folks. A wide range of news stories to keep you entertained and informed. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on these stories? Do you agree with the trades and decisions made? Are you excited about the upcoming games and events? Let's start a discussion and keep the Six Degrees community thriving. Remember, in the world of Six Degrees, there's always something interesting happening. Stay curious, my friends. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief by email.